Hi Naptime friends, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Happy Friday everybody. I hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an acrylic pour on this canvas. It's a 12 by 24 and I just didn't like how it turned out so I'm going to pour over it. I'm going to be using my Promoclo paint in Pacific Navy, Plum Perfect, Titanium White, cobalt turquoise and ink and gold my favorite gold um, for my cups I'm going to be using two cups today and these are just six ounce yogurt cups and I'm, in one cup I'm going to be layering my paint from lightest to darkest color and in the other cup it will be the opposite darkest to lightest so in this cup I started with my white because that's the lightest color and I'm just going in a random order uh, layering my paints trying to put the Plum Perfect next to the blue and put some gold in there too. It, the, these colors go really nicely together. Um, the Pacific Navy is new to me. I haven't got had that color before, but I have had the Plum Perfect and the Cobalt Turquoise. Oh, and these are Primal Flow pre-mixed paints. You can um, get these from their website. I will link it down below in the description. These paints are awesome because they're so easy to use. They're ready to pour and they're just really nice and pigmented. I love them. And I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that. Like I buy these with my own money and everything. I just really, really like their paints. Oh, and you could see my little helper. She's showing me <laughs> more gold, more gold. So for this canvas here, I'm just gonna go in with my cobalt turquoise and just kind of do a border of paint around the edges just so when I pour my cups out they kind of it kind of breaks that surface tension and my paint can glide nice and easily I feel like the paint moves a little bit better when you have a base coat down and it also helps you use less paint which is nice so I just went in and smoothed that out with my hand and I'm gonna get to pouring so for the paint kiss what you have to do is have your paints touch you know mid-air while you're pouring them see just nice and easy try to go at an even pace with you know each cup try to pour at the same speed I was getting a little bit nervous because you can't see this but my little one was over on the right side grabbing my dark blue paint <laughs> and I was like no get back here so here I'm kind of running out of paint and I'm just kind of gonna dump it with the little bit of paint that was left in the cup I just kind of moved it back and forth as you can see I maybe should have put a little bit more paint in these cups, but I haven't really figured out a formula. Like usually for 12 by 12s, I like to use nine ounces of paint, but that kind of seemed like a lot times two. So 18 ounces of paint, cause this is a 12 by 24. I was like, that kind of seemed like a lot of paint, but it ended up working out okay, you'll see. So now I'm getting ready to tilt and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to move all this paint down to the corner here where I kind of ran out of paint just tilt it and then I'm gonna move it back to the center you always want to move everything you tilt back to the center so you don't lose your lines and here I'm just kind of looking at it like okay which way do I want to go with this which way do I want to tilt it so I decided to tilt, take it down to the bottom right corner and just stretch it all the way down. And I didn't speed this up um, just because I wanted you to see, like, um, I'm tilting the canvas pretty slowly. I'm moving the paint kind of slow just so those lines stay put. I think I, I've said this before, but like I'm really into lines lately in my pieces. So now I'm going to bring everything back to the center and then figure out which way I want to go next. I'm going to take it to the top right hand corner, just to the edge, and that's it, and then bring it back to the center and then take it over to the top left corner. 
Do you guys like a lot of cells in your pieces? Or do you like more lines like this type of piece? Let me know down in the comments. So now you can see I should have put more paint here. Um, you see how the, those lines are starting to kind of drip? Um, that's because there wasn't a lot of that cobalt turquoise on my base. But it's okay. It ended up turning out just fine. I'm just going to keep stretching it a little bit more. You don't want to have too much paint on your canvas because it'll crack when it dries. So I'm just going to keep stretching that. That looks good. And just bring it back towards the center a little bit. And then I'm going to call this one done. I'm just going to put it down in my bins here and uh, take my finger and touch up any um, spots on the edges that didn't get paint on them. But I'm loving this so far. I'm really, really loving the colors. It's really, really pretty, I think. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So I'm just going in with my finger here and grabbing some cobalt turquoise and just touching up the edges um, if there was any spots where I didn't get any paint on there. And I'm going to flip it around and make sure I do the same thing on the other side as well. And this one has a little hidden heart. Do you see it on the bottom right hand corner down there? See that heart? I love that. And here is the close up. I love this section right here. It's like so soft. And then it goes into the bolder lines. I was trying to show off that ink and gold. Look at how metallic that is. Can you guys see that sparkle? It's so pretty. And it dries just as metallic too. It's really nice and bright when it's dry. And I will show you on Monday what it's looking like um, when it's dry. It's drying really nice. I like to show, usually I like to show my paintings when they're wet and when they're dry, but I didn't have time to do that on this one. But look at all these fun lines. I'm loving this painting and I usually never say that about my art. But look at this. I, that looks like wood grain right there or something. It's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to try to uh, try this technique again with these same colors and see what I can come up with because I really love how this one turned out. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys about it. I like to get people's opinion because, you know, art's subjective. Everybody has what they like and what they don't like, so... What I like, someone else might not like, and the other way around. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all so, so much. And if you liked it, go ahead and leave me a like. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I hope that you guys are all having a great day and you have a great weekend. I will see you all on Monday for another video. Bye, guys.